Hey, it's John from Ride Upstate, and if you recall, a couple weeks ago, I did an experiment. I drove only for lift on my commute to work, and I found out that, to my surprise, it was just as profitable as driving on Uber. Now, I want to go over those numbers with you. I did have to go back a few weeks to find a week where I had a similar pattern of trips because I wanted to make sure it was as even as possible. So just as a refresher, I consider the extra time and the extra miles that I drive as counting towards my earnings because I'm already driving the 40 minutes and the 35 miles to get to work anyway. So it's the extra miles and the extra time that I'm looking at when it comes to earnings. Now, you might calculate that differently, but the way I see it, like I said, I'm making that trip anyway. So let's look at these numbers. Okay, so let's go with Lyft first. I drove three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And on Tuesday, I earned $42 for uh, 2.25 total hours of drive time and 87 miles of total drive time. And the extra time that I drove was 0.9 hours and 17 miles extra. On Wednesday, I earned $35. I drove for 1.5 hours total for a total of 58 miles. The extra time was 0.83 and an extra 23 miles. On Thursday, I again earned $42 for 1.25 total hours of drive time and 43 total miles, which meant that I drove an extra 0.8 of an hour and an extra eight miles. Big earnings on that day. So the adjusted hourly and per mile rate on those days, on Tuesday, it was $42 an hour. On Wednesday, it was $42 an hour. And on Thursday, it was $50 an hour. Now again, those are adjusted rates based on the extra time that I drove, not for the total time. Uh, let's go back and look at a previous week for Uber. On a Tuesday, I drove $22 for two hours and a total of 90 miles. On Wednesday, I earned $29 for 1.2 hours and a an total of 41 miles. And on Thursday, I earned $28 driving two hours and an extra 80 and a total of 88 miles. So on Tuesday, it was uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all the extra time was uh, basically 0.67 hours. Remember, some of these trips are coming home too. Uh, and total extra mileage on Tuesday, it was 20 miles. On Wednesday, is an extra six miles. And on Thursday, it was an extra eight miles. So the adjusted hourly rates for those days were $38 on Tuesday, $43 on Wednesday, and $42 on Thursday. Now, the only difference in these weeks are that uh, the lift week was further into the horse racing season than the week that I used to compare with on Uber. So that certainly affects demand on whether or not I'm picking up rides in town and what rides are going uh, south. So typically what happens is I pick up rides on the way to work and on the way home. Sometimes I might only pick up one ride in the morning um, and then head into the office and other times I might pick up multiple rides on the way in the morning. And other times I might pick up one or two rides in the morning and one or two rides in the evening. Either way, uh, for, that, for that comparison, Lyft was actually more on the hourly rate. I do think for that week I made more on Uber than I made on Lyft just because of some of the uh, weekend bonuses that I got for that week. But for the most part, I was really impressed. I was really surprised. I hadn't driven Lyft in a while. And I think what is contributing to this, I'm not 100% sure, is that because we have tourists in town, 
There's more people using Lyft. So the people that normally take Lyft to work or to the airport, uh, they aren't getting those regular drivers that they normally would. And so, so I'm picking them up. So those are my results of driving only for Lyft for a week. Again, really impressed. I was surprised because the last time I did this, I could not make any money driving for Lyft. I have some more analysis on Lyft coming up pretty soon. I recently did a $200 challenge and I wanted to share my thoughts and ideas on that as well. So until next time, my name is John from Ride Up State. And remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.